Ah! What? Yes, I knew I was gonna get it. On the left, Evan Williams. <laughs> Cowboys suck. I'm a motherfucking mermaid. All righty, here we go. 2024 Spartan All Obstacles video. These are a huge hit. So this first obstacle, I mean, do I even need a tutorial for it? You're hopping over. Taryn looks amazing. We're going to get a lot of Taryn in this race because she is fun to watch. So coming up to some walls, and there are usually three or four of these of different sizes, and you're going to see here that you can get help. Uh, if you are running an open wave, you can get help from your friends. And as I often say, if you're out here alone, strangers will help you. I've helped strangers. Strangers have helped me. Uh, obviously, this is not one of the bigger walls, so most people can do it. But if you need help, look at this. There's my friend there on the far picture there, Peter hopping over by himself. And just so you know, for me, I am a 52-year-old male, uh, and I'm not super fit, right? I'm not some shirtless dude who's all buff. I'm like a regular dad who eats pretty clean and runs a couple times a week. I really used to run a lot more. Uh, here's an aid station, water station. There's a bunch of these. Spartan, make sure that you get water. You can bring a pack if you want uh, for a sprint. I don't think you need one. Even for a beast now, there's so many you don't need one. But if you want to pack your own, like this lady looks like she has some, that's fine. This is Helix. And it is a traverse obstacle. And this one you can't get help with. This one you just need to do it. And if you fall off, they used to have burpee penalties. But now... There is a running uh, portion where you just go and run 200 meters or whatever it is. Sometimes they'll add something interesting to the penalty, like carry this while you do the carry. But the point is that everybody can do these, even if you're not super fit. You're going to see plenty of people in this video that are, you know, regular sized folks. Some people even a little, let's just say, oversized, but they can do it. So this shirtless guy coming up, he's super fit, right? He's blazing through it. But as you can tell, um, other people are just doing it regular, like they're not as fast. Here are these people. All right, so they were saying, hey, you helped us by watching our video last year. So uh, I wanted to give them a shout out because they were like, we watched your video last year. So now if you see me out there saying you saw this video, I'll do the same thing for you. So you're not supposed to kick the bell. That guy just did that because it was sticking up a little bit high. Uh, but these are the first set of monkey bars. And what I'm going to say, a theme you'll catch here is on a dry day, you will have a much easier, look how fast this guy is. You will have a much easier day than a wet day. A wet and muddy day makes everything slippier, everything harder. But this, as you can tell, these are pretty, these are pretty fit guys. Uh, you'll see some regular folks. Um, but this one's pretty simple. He's doing a little kip there when he falls off. Nobody's doing the nice swinging motion. I said I wanted a big, like the big monkey swing that people do. Peter kind of did it. Uh, but hand over hand is fine. Just monkey bars. He actually fell off. And he's going to try it again, because in the open wave, you can do that. In the elite waves, you can't. you got to do your penalty. But here, uh, you just try it again. And to be honest, a lot of people skip the penalties. Uh, but if you want to do the penalty, do the penalty. I won't judge you either way. So, yeah, this is Taryn's second attempt, I think. Listen to what an awesome coach I am. T tension, time under tension. The longer you wait, the harder it is for you to go. So keep moving. That's pretty much the technique for every obstacle keep moving so yeah there's the penalty loop if you mess up go run it or don't it's an open wave you paid for it do what you want okay here we go this is the slant wall i might get these names wrong by the way and i'll correct them you'll actually see the graphic because i do the graphic part last this i believe is called slant wall and here goes taryn and there's your thumbnail to get everybody to watch this video and this is another one. I don't think I waited for anybody to get help for this one, but this is another one that you can boost up your buddies uh, by pushing their butt up or not. Peter just hopped right over. Pretty simple. Okay, sandbag carry. Now I'll include the weights uh, in the graphic below. But again, I just thought it was funny that this guy was wearing <laughs> was wearing some Packer gear. Uh, I really don't care what football team you root for, but you know you can carry it in front of you. Here's me carrying it on my shoulder, just talking. Uh, I do like to talk a lot. Um, 
this guy found some booze. Also probably not legal, but who cares, right? Does anybody care? This guy's drinking some booze? I'm not. I'm showing you this to show you some different terrain. Here's a little bit of woods, and uh, depending on where you go, some have more hills than others. Some have, like, you know, are really hard in the mountains. Uh, but I think Georgia has a nice variety that might give you a good idea. So, right, so here's some mud in the middle of the woods that they decided to take us through. And earlier it was just blank trail. But, yeah, you're going to see all different kinds of terrain throughout your race. So there's some additional terrain. Again, this is natural. This is part of the course uh, that they made because they found it in part of the park, and they really like to do that. Here's another gentleman who said he watched my videos and said that he heard me talk about these VJ shoes, which are the best shoes for obstacle racing. A little plug for them. Uh, not currently a sponsor, but just love these shoes. Those are the extremes. And he said, hey, I watched your video. I learned these were the shoes to get. And I said, let's feature you. Okay. So here is, <laughs> here is Armor, uh, another rather simple carry. Women's weights are different than the men's. You go down. You, uh, I think you should circle the flag and come around, but a lot of people just turn around. I like to make a nice circle. But yeah, one hand or two. I'll put the weights up below. This guy's wearing an old school Tough Mudder shirt. I'm sure that's what I was talking to him about. Oh, this one doesn't have a pole to turn around. This just had a piece of tape. But again, the whole thing you need to know if you're new and you're watching this is, guess what? If you can't do it, no big deal. Just do the penalty or don't do the penalty and keep moving. It's about getting off your ass. Okay, speaking of getting off your ass, more fun. Terrain. Uh, nice little hill, right? So, like I said, if you want to go to one of those crazy mountain courses, that's like advanced level, right? Killington or Tahoe. A lot, most of your regular, let's call them venues, will have something like this. A little hills, a little water, a little trail, a little gravel, a little bit of everything. Um, so it's not an obstacle you're going to see on the list, right, as an, as an obstacle, but it is another thing to conquer. Here's Peter giving me a little, a little, <laughs> a little food. Uh, that was, I think, him pretending to throw it away and then pointing out that he wasn't. But yeah, again, they typically on a sprint course won't have any food. They'll just have water. Uh, so if you think you're going to be out there for more than an hour, then uh, pack a gel or two. Just, yes, take your trash with you. So here's uh, the first wall that you might need some help with. This is the next level of wall. As I said, they kind of get bigger as they go, even in a sprint. The longer distance do have different obstacles. Uh, but this one, this gentleman's going to hop himself over, or you can get a boost. I'm probably cheering him on. And he did it. And Peter's doing his fun flip. This lady brought some oranges. She's got the whole kit and caboodle going on there. You can do it your way. You can do it your way. This is an aid station. Uh, sorry, a water stop. And again, during the sprint, there usually isn't anything, but she brought some oranges. And it's totally your call. Here's a fun downhill that I think I take off on in a minute. Again, these won't be listed as obstacles typically, but something to know. And I think this idea of what shoes do you wear is a big one. At the end of the day, even if you wear flat sneakers, you'll be fine. Uh, but if it's super muddy, you will slip a lot more. So I wouldn't just wear regular sneakers. I do love the VJs. I'll put a link probably in the show notes there at the bottom in the description or just Google VJ shoes. Um, and again, if this was a muddy day, this would be people would be falling like crazy. But it's a regular nice day. Little creek crossing. Again, not listed as an obstacle, but a fun thing that you're going to encounter when you do your first obstacle race. Had we had more rain, this might be up to knees or a little bit higher. All right, this is cargo climb. Uh, this is a big hill. They throw a giant net on it. You climb up. And if you're scared, then there is a way to walk around it. There is a way to skip it if you want to. Everything is your own speed. Every one of these Spartan races that you do, even if it is a super or beast which has more obstacles, if you sign up for the open wave, you can do whatever you like. Bucket carry. A couple ways to do this. Men and women have different weights. I'm sure I'll have a graphic up with that. Uh, she's got it on the shoulder. Peter's got it in front. Either way you do it, not a big deal. At the end of the day, the difference between a really good person at this and a really bad person or a person who's new is time. But you can all do these basic things. And again, you don't have the strength, 
got an arm issue, whatever, no big deal. Here's a fun one. This is the rig, the Spartan rig, which we're going to show a couple different techniques on this one. Uh, again, this time under tension is important, meaning you want to keep moving as much as possible. The longer you're hanging like she is, now she's taxing that grip. She's taxing those shoulder muscles, and she's about to run out of steam and stop. So you want to go as quick as you can. Now she's going to try to see if she can get her body moving again, and she didn't quite make it. Uh, but she's having a good time. She's going to try it again. All right, so some people are just naturally really good at sort of the more gymnastic movements, and some people really have to work on it. So here's a guy doing a nice swing movement, just keeping his momentum going, uh, which is really what you want to be doing. So here she goes, her second attempt at it, getting to the middle here. Now here's where you really got to keep the C. The slowing down is what kills you all that time and her tension, and now she's out of steam again. Even though she's trying to get the kipping going, she just can't. Now, if you wait a couple, three minutes, shake those arms out, you can try it again. But sometimes people give up, and they just want to keep moving. If you're a strong, strong dude, all arms, you can just do that. So this woman has a little bit more upper body, and so you could tell she was able to kind of hold on and readjust herself and keep going through. Uh, but you don't have to have that much. If you really get the technique down in terms of keeping your body moving, which, all right, so Taryn got stuck there. But, yeah, watch this part a few times if you want. Uh, if you don't have anything at your gym that you can practice on, and then come out and give it a whirl. So this lumberjack-looking dude, he's just going to all arm it, right? But you see the nice swing there? You don't need as much strength if you can swing... And then just keep moving at that middle piece because that's where people are getting hung up, right? They're taking too long there. And then moving right along. And you hit the bell. All right, as you can see, barbed wire crawl. This one's actually in the middle of the woods. Uh, many times it's in a big open field, but not much to it. That guy's posting for a photo. Uh, as you've heard me say, if it's muddier, then it will be a lot harder. But just get low, crawl through. Anybody can do this. Uh, some people like to roll. This one's not really rolling one. Now we are coming up to slip wall, which again is an easier one on a drier day. And this was a relatively dry day. But here goes Taryn and Peter. Look at Peter's amazing beard. Lean back. That's what it's all about. Leaning back. It's counterintuitive because you're climbing up and you want to lean forward. But when you lean back, that puts the pressure on your feet. And you go right up that wall. The hardest part is transitioning from the top of the wall uh, and then reaching over and grabbing. But you're going to see people over here do it here in a second. As I switched my angle to make it easier for you to see. Yeah, just switch the grip from the rope to the top and throw that body over. Now, they did have this shortly after the crawl, so you'd be a little muddier. But on a super wet day, this definitely, you'll be your legs will be more taxed because you'll be slipping all over the place. But... Get those VJ shoes I talked about, and you'll be less likely to slip. If you're strong enough, you just kind of all arm it. Like this guy looks like he's not leaning back, but if you kind of lean back, it's what's going to carry your body forward. And then you just grab the top. Easy peasy. Ah, the spear throw. Let's turn the volume up on this one. Okay, step one, string over the thing. Film this with your phone. And it's me yelling at Taryn to film it with her phone. Center the moss. Center the moss right in the middle. Center it right in the middle. Three, like a dart, not a football. Like a dart, not a football. Two steps and throw this fucker right in there. One, two, bam! Wow! Okay. So that's how it's done. <laughs> All right, so now look at some other folks do it. Like I said, I think the most important thing is dart, not a football. When you throw it like a football, most important thing I said here was dart, not a football. When you throw it like an, a baseball or a football, your arm is curving, and you want to think of it more like a dart, like you're just pushing it, but you've got to put a little bit more behind it because you're pushing it. I think this guy makes it pretty easily, if I recall correctly, but he's just all muscle, I think. Look at this guy. Yeah, he just tosses it and gets lucky. <laughs> That's really not how you do it. This guy misses it a bunch, if I recall, because he's throwing it like, see that? See how he threw to the right like a baseball? And he just missed it. And I go back to him a few times. This gentleman, I think you'll hear me say the same thing to these people all the time. Throw it like a dart. I'm telling him to center it in his hand first, like he's doing. 
Uh, definitely watch this a few times before you go. All right, he made it. You see that? His was a little bit like a baseball, but he still just kind of did it straight. Most people do what that guy just did, which is kind of chuck it, which is what this guy's going to do in the purple, which he does several times. Yeah, see, he's just, his arm's curving. I went over to help him. He never really quite listened. That guy also just kind of chucked it. But he gave me the cool sign anyway. See, this person's saying, shoot it across like that, like a dart. Like, shoot it with your hand. Shoot! So that's kind of a slide, like a pool method. Also works. Here I am telling him, get her at center. and But you see how he's raring back? That's, that's not a dart. That's a football. Get a string over. I'm telling him to get the string over. Oh, it almost stuck. But yeah, we could watch this all day, but I'd rather show you other obstacles. So just go back and kind of rewind. But let's watch this guy make it. See, that he was dead on, just not hard enough because, he, again, not a dart. If you go back to when I did it first, I just kind of... And the other thing you can tell is these people are kind of taking their time. He's going to be like, I don't know, I'll count that one. These people are kind of taking their time because it's the end of the day. If you're running in the middle of the day and there's a bunch of people behind you, don't do this. But if it's slower, end of the day, take your time. Uh, you can try it a few times. Okay, here we go. Atlas carry. Roll it up on your knee like she's doing when it's super heavy. You got to get down and roll it up on that thigh and then just stand up what she's about to do. And once you're up and you're moving, you're kind of in good shape. Uh, Taryn is not doing that. Taryn is doing some weird thing. <laughs> Taryn, what are you doing? Stand up. So if you just try to muscle it with your arms and back, not the way to go. Whoa, like this guy's doing. And if you're really strong, sure. But it's always easier to roll it up on that knee. And as you can tell, it's a pretty short walk. Again, nice day, little mud, not a ton. Muddier day, that thing gets real hard to pick up. That guy doesn't even need all of his shirt, just part of his shirt. So I think this guy, I'm telling him, roll it up on your knee, buddy. He's just going to roll it up on his calf. I'm talking to him. Helping these guys out. There we go. Roll it right up. He's got his cigarette butts in his ears. <laughs> he didn't even make it all the way around. All right, that's that one. All right, I included this part because this always stops me in my tracks and reminds me it ain't that hard. This is Joey and crew from More Heart Than Scars, and they're always helping people with wheelchairs, people with disabilities, the visual and non-visual kind. My buddy Zach, a.k.a. Nub, started this organization over a decade ago. And when I see them, it's always a good reminder that, hey, I'm just out here. I got all my limbs. And you know what? I can, I can do it. If they're out here doing it, I can do it. And just as I'm saying that, we're approaching the final couple of obstacles. This is vertical cargo. And you might think this is pretty simple, just up and over. But it's the end. Your legs might be really hurting. And again, you might be covered in mud. And you can always help folks up and help folks over. And that's another thing I love about these races. And I think that's what's going to happen here in a minute as I get my own self up there. Here I am up at the top. And I'm going to talk this gal over. Yeah. You just, this is the scariest part for most people. Just getting that leg over. And I've seen people get really stuck here for a long time. She does it relatively quick, as I recall. And I'm smiling now as I'm, as I'm recording this, watching it back because I know uh, what it is to help somebody. And that's a big part of these races, helping your friends, helping strangers. She stops and says, thank you here, and off we go. Here's a nice view from the top. Going to come in, going to get some food, going to smile big, or try to smile big there for a second, try to get a good angle, but I missed my whole face. Nice job. This is Herkoist, and again, almost anyone can do this one couple different methods she's laying down and doing it you can also stand put one foot on the fence they've changed the rules a few times one foot on two feet on not sure go check that uh, but again arms are taxed from a long day and the important thing is the most important thing when you get to the top don't drop the bag the volunteers will yell at you please don't drop the bag so you got to let her down nice and easy your hands can be torn up from other obstacles during the day let it down nice and slow See how she's doing that? I think she drops it at the very end, if I remember. This is the same gal I helped over the wall. Yeah, she let it go at the end. Not supposed to do that, but you get the point. Men's and women's weights are different. 
I have really struggled with this one when, when it's covered in mud. Uh, but this in day in particular was not that difficult. So here I go. I'm just going to yank her down. And again, I'm not the strongest guy in the world. I weigh about 185 these days when I did this. Get it all the way up there. And then we slowly let it back down. Slowly. And then all there is to do now is go over the final cargo and jump over that fire. And then we're going to get some medals, and i show you some pictures of that. So, yeah, we're just going to jump over the fire. You can see that cargo behind. And you get over, and you get your medal. Sprint is red. Super blue. Beast is green. And then you get your medal. You walk on over. Then you can get your picture taken. See that booth right there where people are stopping to get their picture taken with a nice big sign? You can do that if you want. I've had a few of those, so I skip that. But then usually you'll get a nice water, perhaps an after-race drink. They finally get rid of Fit Aid, which I hate. And then over here, sometimes it's just bananas. Sometimes it's a bar of some kind, again, depending on the sponsor. Uh, here are some delicious Nutri-Grain bars, I think. No, these are, sorry, not Nutri-Grain. These are some protein situations. And then you get your shirt. She ran the super that day. Get the blue shirt. As I said, red, sprint, blue, super, green. This was a trifecta weekend, so you could do all three races. I like the shirts this year. I think I'm going to have them hold it up. Yeah, look at this cool snake background. I like it. Pretty standard front, but then look at this. I like that this year. Nice, thanks. Nice snake thingy. And the last thing to do is figure out how you did. Check over here at the timing table. Type in your name. Scroll up. There's your age group. There's your time. And then if you got your trifecta, you can get a trifecta medal here. If you did all three, they'll give you a big trifecta medal. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. That helps this be shown to more people through the magic of the algorithm. Leave a comment. Let us know. Are you going to a race soon? If so, which one? And I'll comment back and wish you luck. It also helps if you like and subscribe. But we definitely love we being me. My name is Matt. Hey, everybody. Love to read the comments. You can also follow us on Instagram as well. we got a bunch of other fun videos on this channel. But let's watch Taryn go for it one time. Will she listen to me? And will she make it? Here we go. And she missed it. Love you, miss you, mean it. I got to run.